You know, for all the small little annoyances when it comes to like having to come back home to feed these people because they're starving. There's oh, there's a bunny bun. Okay, guys, let's see if we can try this out. Got him! I hunted my first rabbit. Oh, I'm sorry, little bunny, but it needed to happen. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Impact Winter. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon, and you know what? It's another day of recording, and I thoroughly enjoyed my first two videos on this, so I'm going to record a bit more because I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with this little survival in the Arctic frozen post-apocalypse with me as well. A lot of you guys left me a lot of good advice too, so thanks a lot for that. Um, I'm still trying to figure things out, how they're going to work out. I'm also using a gamepad today for just this change of pace. I was recording earlier with a gamepad for another game, so I still have it connected, so I figure, hey, you know what, let's give the gamepad a try here and see how this works out. Right now, where we're at, by the way, I set up my campsite near Wendy's um, quest marker, which is going to be for more recipes back in the church, right? Let's continue right now. I believe my inventory is good. I had, I actually dug out this hole off camera that had a bunch of items in it. And I sent, um, I put them into this mailbox right here. And what's cool about this mailbox whenever you sleep is that if you put stuff in the mailbox, the robot will take it back to the church and deposit it for you. So it's really, really helpful. And speaking of the robot, I asked you guys for names for the robot, right? Thus far, it seems that the, there's a lot of people offering a bunch of different names. So there's not one that really stands out. And I guess we're coming into Maple Street here. Hold on. So we'll talk about that. I, I basically came to the conclusion about naming the robot here. So there was a lot of good suggestions, mind you. I am going to be going with Echo. I like the idea of Echo. Somebody mentioned Echo, and when I was reading through the suggestions, I was like, you know what? That works out pretty good, because what he's doing with the sonar is almost like a little bit of an Echo effect, because he gets further and further out. So, you know what? I was like, you know what? Echo sounds pretty good, so it's going to be not Echo, but Echo, which is kind of really close to the actual name. So it kind of works out in two regards, you know? So here we are. Oh, oh God. Echo just scared the piss out of me. I thought that was like an enemy. All right, so here we are at this house, which, oh my god, the lighting and the design is so beautiful for this game, man. It sucks that it bombed on launch because, oh man, disappointing, huh? All righty, so we're, we're supposed to look for stuff here. I believe we're looking for the recipe book is what we're looking for. So here we have coal and some cooked meat. Are we hungry? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we are. So let's go ahead and uh, eat this straight up and let's move coal into our inventory for now. Since we have the mailbox outside, we could have them deliver stuff if we need to anyway. So, at least for now, let's take what we are finding. I know some stuff. Oh, baby, we finally have some arrows for the weapons. Now, you guys told me as well that weapons will break down over time. So I should have a couple of extra ones, so... Oh, that's the recipe book. Sweet. So that's our quest marker right there. So at this point, everything else that we can take is going to be extra. Um, a flashlight could be very useful. Why not? Cotton sheet will not be able to fit there. All right, so let's continue then. We got the recipe book already. So is that it? Just bring it back to Wendy and we're done with her quest. Cool. I'm going to go with Wendy. Um, people told me that Blaine is really not too important in the long run. So the big ones will be Maggie kind of with the recipe for food. So you can make some more extravagant, extravagant food for us. And then Chris for the upgrades to Echo. And Wendy, or no, Wendy's the recipe. Maggie. Maggie is the one who upgrades your base. And she's very important to be due as well. Not, not in that way, do her that way. Although, she's kind of a bit of a cutie, I would say. But Maggie is another one that I kind of want to focus on, too. Speaking of which, it's like negative 36. It's freezing. I shouldn't have my boy here hang out too long. So let's check this out. We have some seeds, it does seem. I will take those. Seeds apparently work as the currency in the game, is what I was told as well. So the nomads that wander around, I can um, buy stuff from them that I might need with seeds, which is pretty cool. So make sure to try to grab all those. Right now, I'm grabbing the small items because you can see right now our inventory is pretty stacked up. So I'll take that cog. And oh, screws sound very useful to me as well. What the hell is this? A vase. Oh, that looked like something else. Something that I'm not going to say because, you know, kids might be watching. But uh, hey, if you know what I'm talking about, then kudos to you for being a, a fellow pervert, apparently. How dare you? How dare you know what that, what I meant? You should be ashamed of yourself for knowing what I meant. I'm ashamed of myself for knowing about it. Well, technically I'm not, but, you know. The fact that my mind gravitated to that initially, it's kind of like very concerning a little bit. It was kind of like, Falcon, really? For real, dude? I don't know. It just, my mind works in different ways, I guess. So now with the recipe book here, I think we probably head back. I could... 
I could probably take a little bit of a nap to have the robot take up the items back. Yeah, I'm at 85. You know what? Let's do that really quickly to show it off. So, technically speaking, if I wanted to leave all the stuff behind, I could do... Why? Why is that at 99? 99. Okay, whatever. So, move all the stuff over here. I'll keep the... the arrows, obviously, since we might have to hunt a wolf or something. Who knows? I'll, I'll keep the book with me, why not? So, if I put that in there and then take a small little nap, see? We should be okay. I'm not sure if I should stoke the fire, though. Let's see, just taking a nap would be fine. You'll see the robot, he books it. So he's gone, he's delivering the items, and then... I could wake up whenever I want, it does seem. Like, if you sleep for, like, literally a minute, he'll go back and deliver everything, I believe. Because if I come in here... Um, if, as long as you let me... Yeah, see, all the stuff's gone now. So I believe he took everything back instantly. So it's great. You don't have to, like, you know, sleep here for an hour for him to make it back in for This is immediately, which is good. You know, for all the small little annoyances when it comes to, like, having to come back home and feed these people because they're starving. There's, oh, there's a bunny bun. Okay, guys, let's see if we can try this out. Got him. I hunted my first rabbit. Oh, I'm sorry, little bunny, but it needed to happen. This is cool because we did need a couple of bone fragments for the Nomad, if I'm right, for his quest. And some quests are timed, which is something I didn't really put too much attention into. But I'm happy we got our first hunt down, which is great. So our bow is pretty useful for that. Now, is it going to be useful against a, a wolf? Probably not. Now, before we head on back straight up, we should also make sure that there's no other things left behind over here, like we have a battery. Uh, we might have to do some finagling with the... Oh, actually, we might not be able to... F no, we can. Yeah. So, now you should be fine, right? Perfect. Got a couple of spots for some thin items, too. Which is great. Okay. That bus is completely torn up. I think we've investigated that before and there was nothing in there, so... There's really no use to go up there at the moment or something... That's the Nomad. Oh, the Nomad's up there. And apparently there's some food in that Murray's truck as well. Or van. Nomad, I got some bone fragments. Can I give you those now, or do I have to give them all together? I'm kind of curious about this. Nomad, hey, hold up. I love his neon sticks, too. He's like, partially at a rave. The snowy is coldest rave you've ever seen. Hey, bud. Um, I got some bone fragments. Yeah, I guess I could give him some right now, too. So... Cool. So we're five and eight away from completing that quest. Excellent. Now, you know what I would like? Since I already pillaged that van, I would love that icon to go away from the mini-map because it makes me think that there's something in there, so I know in the future I'll probably walk by and be like, oh, well, there's probably some food there. And that's not really the case. So going back to, like, the advice you guys are giving me, some of the options I heard as well was to get a couple of these quests done and then focus on a couple of just, um runs when it comes to securing our inventory, like food and drinks and stuff like that. Just a couple of um, runs to get those upgrades up and running, have enough food in the base. So I guess we'll probably do that. Right now, I'm going to wrap up this Wendy thing. And we've already done... We've done everybody's level 1 except for Blaine, which is a survival guy. I guess I'll probably do his or not. I don't know just yet. I think the next one I want to do is probably go back to Maggie and get some more upgrades to the base. And we also have to get a couple of more items collected because I need to get a door for the church so we don't get pillaged too often. Which hasn't happened just yet. Cool. And that's the Wendy one done. So let's speak to her. Thanks for bringing my recipes back, Jacob. Hopefully it'll refresh my mind and provide us with new cooking possibilities. The great thing about recipes is that they've made from all the useless ingredients found in the void. They also provide a much needed morale boost too. And that you know, every recipe creates four portions, much more effective than finding food, eh? Actually really is. Cool. So, cooking refresher. Wendy needs to practice her cookery skills and proposes a test recipe. She suggests the large containers as a good place to acquire raw ingredients and has highlighted one nearby. Return with the items needed and have Wendy craft a chicken pasta bake. All right. Well, we might do that. I'll stoke that fire here pretty soon. Let me talk to Maggie, who does seem to have some sort of dilemma happening here. Hey, Jacob, there's a nomad outside. Looks like they want to trade items with us. So they're giving us cereal, tea bags, salt, <laughs> t 
tea bags. Salt, meat scraps, okay. And we could get PC motherboard, boats, basketball, and a worn comic. Mm. So we're giving them cereal bar, tea bags, salt, meat scraps. I, I guess we could make that one happen, sure. Okay, so that's done. I think it's worth it, right? PC motherboard, we might need that for some sort of Kristoff quest down the line. Um, let's see about rationing their food before we hit the road, too. And we might have to get some rest and everything. So our food looks alright, but I'm not really sure what the ideal number here should be. So let's put that away. Oh, we should also cook, yeah. Um, so this recipe book... I could put this away, right? I don't have to use this, no? Okay, just put that away, I suppose. And Maggie's morale has been kept above 75, so we got some more RP points. Perfect. Thank you. All right, let's... Oh, got to unlock something now, too, huh? What is this one? Health regains faster, food drink items are less effective. That could be pretty useful, because I don't want these guys getting hurt, and it might also affect me, too. All right, um, let's cook, because we have some raw food. So, meat scraps, cook that, cook that. Good to go, and... Let's toss some coal into the fire. All right. And roll unlocked. So put that away, put that away, put that away. I'm gonna keep that on me in case we run into some wolves. Now, oh, here we go. So you're out of food now, perfect. So now it's time for me to ration away. Mmm, 25 and 15 energy, huh? Now, before we go, let's see if there's anything we could craft right now. I've doubted because we're missing a bunch of items. I still have to do a couple of, like, you know, resource runs. Here's what I want to get, the wooden door. We need nails and a glass pane for that, though, so we'll keep an eye out for that. And safe so we don't get robbed if they get inside and wooden beds for better resting and stuff like that. Okay, so there's a couple of things here I actually want to get, but unfortunately it's going to have to wait. Furnace is the next one, though, huh? A small furnace used to aid fuel consumption to provide more heat. Okay, and for you, is there anything you could cook right now? Scrambled eggs? No. A lot of these, we're very close to the coffee, we just need some small bottle of water, as it does seem. Which is something I think I could craft with Maggie, like a water production type of thing. And what about you? Not enough yet. Thermal drill. We just need this colander for the storage. Oh, we could carry more? That could be very useful. Colander, huh? All right, I'll keep my eye out. Let's hit the road then. I guess then we'll go over to Vents. Let's go back to Maggie. Yeah, so Maggie's giving you directions to her father's auto shop and asks for you to find his blueprints, allowing you to add power to the church via a generator. The blueprints are locked away, so you'll need to search the garage for a way to access them. Let's do it. Alrighty, so unfortunately for us, it's gonna be some late traveling, which is normally when the wolves are out and about. So we gotta be really careful. I should have probably brought the extra camp tent with me. What is that? Oh, there's a dude over here digging around. Oh, are you friendly? I hope you're friendly. Who? What's your deal? New stranger. Okay, let's talk to him. Excuse me. I left my supplies here last night. Thought they'd be safe. The heavy weather must have blown them away and buried them. Can you help me find them? I guess I could do that. A stranger, yeah, yeah. So we might be able to, like, maybe do a scan with our boy here. So do a scan first and foremost. Oh, no scans required or what? It said thermal drill, though. I guess I'll search here. There's nothing here. Hmm. I guess it's probably farther away. My friend, I gotta tell you. I think you were probably drunk when you hit that because there is nothing around here. It's like absolutely nothing around here. Let's move north a little bit. Oh, those are wolves. I might have found a location too, but those are wolves right there. <laughs> oh god, there's three wolves right there. Oh boy. You better be really quiet with this drill because those- Oh god, he's moving. Hold up. I'm not sure this is what he's looking for. It doesn't seem like this would be the supplies for him. But... Can't hear anymore. Yeah, I don't think those are the supplies that guy was looking for. 
but I'm glad we saw the wolves now because now <laughs> I'm going the other way. All right, buddy, I'm sorry to say I can't really help you out. There's wolves here now. I'm leaving. A oh, radio mass has been discovered. Use a radio battery to activate it. Okay, right, well. I ain't got no radio batteries right now, dude. So I'm gonna come up through here and hopefully avoid those wolves completely. What's amazing is just the level design, though, or at least the world design. I love that, you know, that's over here cracks that we have to use a little bridge around. I suppose, I'm not sure if that's like the earth itself cracked from the impact, or... Must have been, right? Although this little bridge highway thing seems to be conveniently placed over it to get to the other side of the land over here, which is pretty cool. Oh, well. How far are we from here? This is a long trip, man. There we go. Alrighty. Should have really brought an extra tent with me. I know I have like maybe two more back home, because Blaine gave me those when I started. And here is the auto shop too. MJ Boots Auto Repair. This is really cool. Alright, let's turn this light off here for now. And let's descend into the garage. Alrighty, so let's see. Now, if I was a pair of blueprints, where would I hide myself to? That's a generator. Oh, speaking of which, maybe we should keep an eye out open too for... Oh, robot, you scared me again. Stop moving around like, so suspiciously, dude. Oh, what is this? You're definitely gonna need a key. Well, I don't got a key. What's her face didn't give me a key? Uh, we got some super glue. Well, before I grab anything, I'm gonna see if we can find these blueprint seeds. I'll take those for currency. We got a bike chain and a greasy rag. Not sure what you would use a greasy rag for. Oh, large gas canisters. Another bow. Would be nice, but we don't need it right now. Wrench, okay. That's <laughs> that item again. Tool cabinet. Mm. Hmm. Should probably grab a couple of these, because I feel like we need them for building stuff for Maggie. And I'll probably leave some of that extra garbage behind here. Why would I assume to be garbage anyway? Food! Raw food, probably not the best thing to eat. But, got some lemonade. Powdered eggs. And some milk. Yeah! Let's get some food in me here. Get those powdered eggs in, you boy. Uh, let's not drink right now, we're on the job. Alright, let's just wait until after we're done. Gotta keep a level of professionality here. Uh, fuse. I think that sounds like something we might need, so I'll take it with me. Seeds, got some more rum. <laughs> of course we do. It's really good for hydration, I believe. I mean, not really, really good because it's alcohol. It makes you more thirsty than anything else. Especially when you start getting that hangover. But how I understand it in the game is that it does make you drunk, and there is, like, a way to get undrunk when it comes to, like, Wendy's recipes or something like that. Okay, so here we go. We need the garage locker key to open up that safe, which is cool. Got a coin as well, which, I don't know, I'll, I guess I'll bring it along meanwhile. So we got the, the garage key needed for the blueprint, more than likely. Yeah, you got it. Open it up. It's like, don't just tell me you think you got it. You have it for a fact. It worked. Pop it open. There it is, the father's blueprints, which takes up three spots, so we gotta get rid of something here. Uh, I'm gonna say we get rid of... You don't seem too important to me at the moment, so you move. That's uh, morale for some of the dudes back home, so I'll leave that and... Just give me this, and I'll take that wrench too, why not? There we go. You found the blueprints unlocking new items, enabling a hand generator to be built. Maggie's notebook has further instructions. Jacob, we'll have to start with a hand generator and Pop's blueprints should show the parts we need. It's a simple design and shouldn't be too complex to build. Check what we need and then return with them so I can get to work building it. Be sure to search the garage, who knows, you might find... Yeah, I know I do. This is a very good area for all these items that we found thus far. Cool. So I'll take a look at this off-camera, guys, and I need to get it back because my camera, or at least my, my Echo here, is very low on power, so I'm gonna refill him up. And we'll start. I'm not sure if we'll do her quest just yet, but we'll keep the eyes open out for the items needed for whatever she needs. But I think we also need to start doing a couple of runs when it comes to food. 
So we have like a good supply back home and I have to worry too much about it because right now it doesn't seem like it's too high. Especially when I'm rationing food off to people. So I feel like we should probably go out and look for a couple of resources. Meanwhile, we also grab the items for Maggie's quest as well. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next video. I will catch you next time.